SPA content catalog. So SPA one will ignore for now. So if I just take only electronic store, for example, you have an electronic store. What is the main two catalogs you need to run the website in SAP Hybris? One is needed for your content. One is needed for your product, right? Okay. Yeah. And you can see there are other catalogs also like power tools, content catalog, power tools, product, apparel product. Why is it? Because we have multiple sites. I told in the beginning, right? We have these four sites. So all four sites will have different catalogs. Can someone tell why? Why we need different catalogs for each site? Uh, it's just a guess maybe that we don't mix mm -hmm. up the stores. Correct. Correct. So for example, uh, I'll take an example of Coca-Cola, right? Coca-Cola have like a variety, uh, variety of product ranges, right? Some products may be available in uh, Austria and maybe not available in India, right? So if you are just running one site also, like for example, only for uh, Coca-Cola products also, but you need to segregate the products between Austria and India also, or US also, right? Each market can have a different set of products. One product may be available in US and which is not allowed to sell in India. So we no need to add that product in a single catalog, right? To segregate this may, thing. Go ahead. May I just ask you a question? Um, uh, why can't we do it in one catalog and like to, to if we in, in like in India, we don't need a special cutter, uh, product we're selling in Austria, um, maybe not just to 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 apply to India, just to Austria. Maybe there could be a button. Yeah. Just say okay, here yes, here no. Correct, correct, correct. So we have some attributes at product level, right? Attributes mm -hmm. as in like just consider as a as a product feature. Okay, I can introduce a attribute something called is allowed to sale in India something like which will have a true false value okay yeah correct so I can do this on a uh, like I have only single catalog single mm -hmm. catalog catalog so for example product a okay I can maintain this flag is allowed to sell in India at product level I can have this flag true false and from uh, development team can do some logic and they can show the product uh, in US or some other market not in India but for example, some product is available in India, not in US or Austria, right? So mm -hmm. in that case, you need another flag, correct? Another feature, some button or something, correct? Mm -hmm. So in that case, we are increasing the technical effort, right? Yes. Technical effort comes with another billing, like in a project management standpoint, in any consultancy firm, it comes with a like, uh, uh, budget right so we are basically increasing the technical scope so that can be minimalized with the sap features right because to maintain two different catalogs we don't need any additional effort from technical standpoint correct we can directly do mm -hmm. it here i can okay. create a new catalog from here for example mm -hmm. you are a business user or you have the admin rights okay you perform the admin related task you can create a new catalog here can you see this box create a new catalog Yes. Yes. I can create. Yeah, I can create a catalog like something like sale to India only something like that. I can create right. I no need to ask a technical developer to, you know, write a logic uh, to segregate the product from coding or some logic, right? I can directly do it from here. Correct. Mm -hmm. So this is the reason for maintaining different catalogs for a particular business. Okay. So in that case, it will be automatically maintained. Each catalog will be defined for each sites. I'll show you the site, how it's linked. Okay. I hope I answered your question, right? Why we need uh, different catalogs. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? No. Okay. And uh, then I'll jump into catalog versions. Uh, this is a little slow loading in local. Yeah. Can you see the like what uh, catalogs we are checking here? Electronics content catalog and we are checking yes. electronics product catalog. Yes, we can see. It. Yeah, in catalogs you, you saw only two, right? Here we are checking only two. Like I selected only two, right? Electronics content catalog, electronics product catalog. Yes. 
right but if i'm going to catalog versions okay if i'm going to catalog versions i can see for a single catalog it has two versions right one is stage one is online can you see this uh, table yes. yes so like any guesses why why is it so any guesses you can give wrong answers also i'll tell you the reason maybe the stage one is a test version or a old version correct some like uh, somehow correct so something like for example you are changing some product description okay directly online is the one which is visible to customer correct if you are not maintaining catalog versions okay so i'll give you here for example product a i'm typing a description of this product is this is a coca cola product okay and who will write this product description some product team right some product team will write it correct so they are ultimately humans so there might be for example a typo okay i'm just replacing i'm making a typo so is it correct to show this description to customer no, no right no no right yes so that's why we maintain two catalog versions so whenever a product for example i am a product manager i need to update certain product description of uh, few products so what i'll do i'll do make the changes in stage version stage versions okay for example in stage version i am writing this product description okay and for example you are a uh, approver of the uh, of these changes so when you are approving my changes so you will see in the stage version there is a mistake there is a typo right you will not approve it no, so once you review no but the typos we prefer coca cola ah uh, yeah yeah okay yeah this is right okay that's my bad yeah <laughs> correct yeah so this is the correct one right this is the correct description okay yes so if i am writing this typo here in the stage version somebody while reviewing my changes they can tell hey you write a typo can you please correct it so once i correct this then i am approving it then it will be synced with online version and what customer will see customer will see this one right right so the staged version is a draft version where it's still correct on reviewed correct. and when you approve and release it it will get to the online version yes correct correct when you do not have any draft or pending changes do you see a staged version as well or then you just see the online correct correct if you maintain only online then whatever i'm changing that will be directly visible to customer right which is not yeah, no 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 i i meant when you have the staged uh version uh released mm -hmm. approved is it then gone and you just see an online version and you need to take a step to create a new staged one uh no 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 so once we make a change i'll show you there is a basically synchronized job okay so i'll show you one second yeah so i want to see whatever present in the content catalog okay so for example this is my content catalog right i can edit in bulk so to make it online i'll show you can you see this button what it's showing uh, i mean what it, it displaying yeah. synchronize synchronize yes. Syn synchronize means stays to online i'll show you if i click it it will clearly show can you see this yes yes it's showing online right ignore this one this is not required this is some other catalog okay and what it's showing push to target okay so my source is stage target is online but if um i synchronize the staged version is the is the staged version uh, equal to the online version or do i see in the staged version the original version i see like uh, version 1 version 2 version 3 so i can check what i did maybe a few days ago what i yes, synchronized yes. yes yes you can maintain that way also instead of stage online depending on your mm -hmm. business you can maintain like 1.0 2.0 but that you will maintain in the stage level okay yeah. for example yeah. instead of stage you can maintain 1.0 2.0 like that and you want to just sync 2.0 with the online one so what customer will see 2.0 version 2.0 yes online will be one 
stage you can uh, you know uh, uh, divide into versions like 1.0 2.0 3.0 like that. Okay, so if I want to keep a version maybe for later for for just checking in two months, I could do an, an version uh, 2.0, no, 3.0, it's or 1.0, it's the first. And then I'm working with versions 2.0, 3.0, and I could recheck them, uh, check it. them a few minutes later, a few Got months it. later. Okay, okay, Got thank it. you. Okay. And also, can you see this uh, column? Is yeah. active catalog version? What does it mean? Whether it's active or not? I can see not. it online or not. No. Yes, correct. So for online, it will be true always. But in the uh, stage version, like if you are doing versioning 1.0 also, all should be false. Mm -hmm. So if I have here in the stage version more versions than one, I would have three electronic content catalogs uh, staged one on, and all should be false correct correct ah, okay okay and this is the feature i mean this is the button ah, actually. yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. you can make true false here mm -hmm. any any other questions no thanks so in each step if i click on it i'll see a window like this i can drag and drop this one also and here you can see some uh, attributes, right? So we call each thing as an attribute. There is something called generation date. There is something called this flag I told, right? Is active catalog version. Then catalog version stage. Here I can make it 1.0. Or I am just creating a new one. How will create it? Can you see this plus button? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So if I click on plus button, I can create one. And here what it's asking. It's asking for a catalog, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Which means for which catalog I want to mm -hmm. do versioning. So if we, we take the electronics product catalog, I take product, electronics product catalog version two and yeah, I can, can create like... a new one. Uh -huh. Co yeah. Correct. It's clear for everyone? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Yeah. There are other features also. You can delete one catalog if not required. Then you can... Uh, compare also those things i'll cover in the like product cockpit uh the in that part i'll show it okay there is bulk edit also and then this is for export for example it may be required like as a business person you need to show the product team what all are the catalogs or what all are the products you are you know uh, uh having in your system so you can export directly in excel or csv format and you can share it with the other teams okay Mm -hmm. Same thing you can do uh, import also. How? This way. What it's expecting? Import ex Excel file. For example, you are running a traditional business and you are uh, uh, taking SAP uh, Commerce Cloud. Means you want to go live. You never had any website or something earlier. You just, first time you are doing. So how earlier you maintained your products in your traditional means, uh, business? Maybe some Excel or something, right? So what you will do, you will just upload the Excel file here. Okay. Once you upload, then it will show like uh, done. Once you click on done, that will be imported directly in the system. Got it? Mm -hmm. So yeah, these are the features like overall. And this you will see in every every uh, feature, every, every button basically. Okay. Any other questions on this? Yes, I have a question. Um, uh, I can't still see deleted catalogs afterwards. Uh, no, you can't see. Once you delete it, means it will gone. Okay, thanks. So it would be a ground rule that only um, catalogs should be deleted who are inactive catalogs. Because if I, if I delete an active one, I don't ha see anything online. Yes, correct, correct. So in that case, like how to maintain that? It can happen, right? So what? Because currently I logged in as a admin user. Okay, mm -hmm. so once I tell you the user management, I'll tell you different type of roles and groups. So to log in this, right, I, I logged in through some user and that was an admin mm -hmm. user. Admin user can delete online catalogs also. Okay, so that's why yeah. we don't provide admin admin uh, access to everyone, right? Mm -hmm. uh, some uh, employees I can provide just to read only mm -hmm. mode. They can just mm -hmm. read, they can't delete. So for them, this delete button will be disabled. 
Okay, so so you have different roles within uh, what someone can do. Do you have, uh, let's say, some default roles with descriptions, what they're allowed to do and what not? Correct, correct. So if okay. if I don't know if it's even um, part of the training to get knowledge of uh, which rules do exist, who can do what, if, if it's made by default? I guess... Yes, yes. It will come under customer management. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Then I'll jump into I... the categories. Okay. Just yeah, a second. Ahead. I have a question. Um, if I import an Excel list, is it staged or online immediately? Uh, generally, on a base practice, we just load the stage one, not the online okay. one. Okay. okay. So, so that's the like kind of best practice you need to maintain. Whenever you are loading, you will load it in stage only. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Categories you guys uh, have uh, idea about it, right? Uh, like in a, for example, electronics. So electronics will have mobiles. It will have cameras. It will have uh, batteries, chargers. So we maintain all the categories here under category sections of catalog widget. Okay. Um, if we have here, uh, we have here some um, categories. If there hmm. is, for example, in one category, there is no product in it. Is it shown the category or not? Uh, yeah, that will be shown, but we can, uh, you know, customize it. Like we can, uh, if you don't want to show it, we can, uh, uh, you know, turn off that category. If, yes, because uh, if there is no product in, in, in a category, it doesn't make sense to show it. Yeah. Correct. But correct. Natalie, you, you mean on the user uh, interface, then if it's yes. shown? Yes, in the, in the back end, it should be shown. Yeah, here it will be shown, but in the customer, I'll show you the customer sites also. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. electronics and all, I'll show you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these all are the categories and how it's linked, I'll show you from here as well as from the products also. And can you see this one visible too for a category? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is this group? Customer group. Okay, so we can customize the category for certain customer groups also. For example, you have three type of customer. One is retail mm -hmm. customer. Then another is, for example, wholesale. Another is, for example, consultant. Okay, mm -hmm. customer. Okay, yeah. So, for example, product A, B, you just want to show for retail. Okay. Mm -hmm. Product B, comma C, want to show wholesale and consultant customers group. Okay, so that you can customize here. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For certain category, you just want to show in a uh, uh, few customer, like as I told retail. It can be like you can segregate between retail also. You can you know add a new group, customer group like. Uh, uh promotional retail group or something mm -hmm. for them you just want to sell it or just for like for example india customer you want to sell it you can just maintain a, a separate group for india customer and you can just add it so that particular category will be shown to only th those target customer group not mm -hmm. any other group okay so that customization mm -hmm. or configuration you can do from here yeah then there is this category structure there are super categories and those things included products and all okay and every uh, you know window you can see this type uh, different different type of tabs right admin tab multimedia category structure general so all these are related to your business day-to-day -day activities okay you can do n number of uh, uh, customization or different sort of operations through this window this back office window in admin tab generally it will have like some uh, uh, you know miscellaneous attributes like comments product list components and all promotions any promotions you want to do so those sort of things you can show it in administrator and these attributes will be different for each table so this is category table this is catalog version table like on a technical standpoint if you want to understand okay so what is this type can you all see this type Yes. Type is there, right? Yes. So what we are what we are checking now categories, right? And this is the type category, which means the table name in the database is category. Okay. Mm 